Okay, so the prefabs that we made have text components within them. And by default, they have a checkbox checked on called rich text. Now rich text, if you look at the Unity documentation, allows us to add sort of HTML style markup tags into our text in order to format and color things differently. And so we're going to be utilizing this in order to uh, give sort of differential coloring throughout the same string um, or same console line that we return back to the terminal. So what I've done here is I have created a dictionary that has a string key and a string value and I've just named it colors. I've initialized it as a new dictionary and inside I've put in the um, hex codes for the color scheme that I want. So you can get color schemes um, by using a website like colors.lol whatever you would like you can copy in these hex codes or find a color scheme on a different site and use those for your terminal. But These ones here are mine so feel free to copy this. Okay so I'm gonna start by creating a helper method in here called color string. It returns a string. It takes in the string that we actually want to color and it takes in that hex code from that dictionary that I'm going to call the color. And all it's going to do is it's going to sandwich it between the color tag with the correct hex code and a closing color tag. So we'll say string left tag equals color plus color plus a closing tag. String right tag equals slash color. And then we want to return the left tag plus the string that we're interested in coloring, plus the right tag. And when you instantiate something with this string, Unity will automatically see that these color tags are in that string, and it won't render those letters to the screen, but instead it will color whatever is sort of uh, within those tags with the hex code that you supplied here. So I'm going to create another helper method called list entry because it's pretty common that we want to just sort of list things back in the terminal where usually there's like a title or a colon followed by uh, some description of the thing that we're talking about. You'll see what I mean in a little bit. But we're going to start by creating this and say void list entry string A string B. So what it's going to do is it's going to take that response variable. It's going to automatically add to it a string where the first part is colored one color and the second part is colored a second color. And it's just going to put a colon in between so that it just makes our life a little easier if we want to list a whole bunch of things to the screen. So I can say color string A, color orange, plus this plus color string B colors of yellow. And you can modify and overload this method as you please. Uh, make it so that you can you know define the color that you want um, here in the arguments, but I'll just do this and I'll let you guys customize things as you would like to. So now with this method, it's really easy to create interesting responses from the interpreter. All we have to do is come up here to one of these things that we want to change and say list entry for help. We can say the first thing is help. The second thing returns a list of commands. list entry stop pauses the game list entry 
run resumes the game. List entry four. Blah blah blah. And you can see that when we type help, we get back this information here. It's also nicely colored the way that I wanted it to be colored from my color scheme. You'll notice that the colon is actually the default color from the prefab, which I think doesn't even look that bad. But because I didn't include it in any of my color string methods and it didn't get wrapped in a color tag, it has those colors there.